Andrew here, and today I have a mystery unboxing. Now, this package was a gift from my brother. I do not know what it is, but I'm excited to find out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, he kept suggesting to me that I buy this. This is the Yushin Mini Cube. So, okay, now I have the Yushin Mini Cube. And there's something else in the package I can tell. Ooh, 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 okay. Okay, I know what it is. It's the Yushin Big Cube. <sighs> okay. I've said that I was considering buying the Yushin Big Cube. Remember, you may remember the competition video. I said that I like the Yushin Big Cube. And I have one for myself. It better be the Yushin Big Cube. That would be pretty funny if it was something else. Okay, yes it is. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the Yushin Little Cube. Okay, now I tried this at the competition. It was really good. I have a Rubik's Mini Cube here, and oh, the Yushin Cube is bigger than the Rubik's Mini Cube. All right. Okay, first turns. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, pretty much what I expected. Extremely good for a little cube. Let's look at the mechanism. Ooh, okay, interesting mechanism. It looks, oh boy. It looks a little bit like my YJ Yulong. Is it adjustable? Okay, yes, it is adjustable, but you need a really small screwdriver to fit in there. Okay, so I really like this little cube. Now, corner cutting on this, the Yu Shao, it can do it from any angle. It requires some effort, though, right about here. Qu actually, quite a bit of effort. And you know what? Corner cutting on this is just as good as it is on the Yu Shao. Now, on to the Yushin Big Cube. Alright. Okay, it comes with a cube stand. Instructions. Oh, I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I got this giant one for the first time. I'm gonna use this crappy instruction manual in Chinese to figure out how to solve it. Whatever. Alright, first turns. Very, very sandy. Okay, it definitely could use some Florian cuts. Let's try corner cutting. Okay, it cannot do 45 degrees. Can do line to line right there. Barely. And then just the reverse corner cutting is the major issue. Mechanism. Okay, I do not know what. This is a, actually a very unique mechanism. Maybe some other cube uses it? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this mechanism before. Is it adjustable? Alright, I just, it took me about 45 seconds, but I did manage to get a center cap off, and yes, the core is adjustable. Uh, 
I'm going to take it apart a little bit more. Ooh. This reminds me of a video, this right here reminds me of a video I've planned for the future, hint, hint. So, let's look at the core. Yep, giant springs. I don't know if you can tell, but those springs in there are really big. Alright, let's put it back together. I'll get back to you after I've put it back together and cut off the keychain for the little 3x3. Three three. I'm back. I have cut off the keychain on the little cube, and now it is very good. The only issue I have with it is that it occasionally corner twists. The big cube is extremely fast. I just wish it had Florian cuts because I get a lot of this sort of issue from its lack of reverse corner cutting. However, it can forwards cut 45 degrees. And yeah, there. see I'm trying to turn it back and it catches. If this had Florian cuts, it would be amazing. And it is extremely fast. It's like, it's as fast as my Gorgon Yi show. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to time-lapse a solve of each of these puzzles. I'm going to start with the little cube. Okay, so the time there was 43.12. My normal average is in the low 30s. But with the Rubik's brand little 3x3, I got 1 minute 13 seconds, so this is much better. And now for the big cube. I got a 51.28, but I did put an F2L pair in the wrong slot at one point, so it probably would have been a few seconds better if I had not done that. Here I have a size comparison of several puzzles. I checkerboarded the two Yushin ones. First one is the 1x1, one one, then the Rubik's Mini 3x3, Yushin Mini 3x3, Normal 3x3, 7x7, Yushin Big 3x3, and finally the X Cube put vertically, which is the tallest puzzle I have. So that's about it for this unboxing. Thank you to my brother Benjamin for sending this to me. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel, but it's not a cubing channel. It's a, a sports uh, gaming channel. It's BT5 is his channel name. I'll link it so you can go check it out if you want to. Um, one thing I did notice about the Yushin Little Cube is that it corn twists and it pops. Those are the only two issues about it. The Yushin Big Cube, it only has one issue, but it is a big issue. It's lack of reverse corner cutting and frequent, frequent catching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Because it helps me so much, and it's so easy for you to do. I am just hit 40 subscribers, so that's good. Um, all my videos are now completely ad-free. And that's it. Goodbye, I'll see you in my next video.